Well, we finally made it to race morning. It is about 6 a.m. I stayed the night in Earl's Court last night for the Thames Path 100K. Just making my way to the, uh, the underground. Had a fairly good night's sleep, not brilliant, but the night before was excellent. And that's the most important one. A decent bottle of pasta at a local Italian restaurant. That was quite lovely. Yeah, I'm ready to get going. So here we are at the start line. 10 minutes to go. All the runners are getting into position. I'm gonna be doing a very uh, chilled out start today. I'm gonna to walk off the line for five minutes and then I'm gonna run for 5K, walk for five minutes, run for 5K, walk for five minutes. It's pretty chilled out. Just wanna reserve all my energy as much as I can. Let's do two more. If you can get a little bit deep Well, I'm an hour in, this is my second walk break for five minutes. I just spent the last hour with Mark Lewis, a uh, YouTuber that I follow. Excellent to have a chat with him. Very inspiring, Mark. Really good to spend a bit of time here, mate. Uh, yeah, so that was good. I was hoping to bump into him, that was awesome. He looks like he's doing well and his toe's not bothering him, so that's fantastic. But yeah, really enjoying it. Sun's come out, everything's on pace. I'm in a glorious day. I was involved in a park run there. This is the end of the park run up here, look. At the top, the Kingston Park Run. Everybody making me feel very slow, but that's okay. I've got 20 park runs to run. Hope everybody enjoyed their day running the park run. I'd like to get into that actually, a bit more. Okay, about 13 miles in now. I don't know what that is in kilometers. We came through the first aid station, grab myself a banana and just topped up my water in and out nice and quick. So I was happy with that. Right, so just around this corner is somewhere that I know the name of. It's a rather large house. You know, Hampton Court. Feels like a bit of a milestone to get to in this race. What a beautiful thing to see. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Look at the gardens as well. Immaculate. We had some amazing houseboats here on the right hand side. Uh, which is really lovely. If I was going to live in London, we would definitely be on a houseboat like that. So yeah, all good so far, all good. I realise also, I didn't make a note of where the checkpoints are. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at the moment, but uh, kind of not know when they're going to turn up. At least you're not counting down the kilometres to get there. Just went to the last aid station, and Chanel, my wife, turned up for a surprise. Come see me, so it's nice to see her. Lifted my spirits, enjoying the Thames Path. A lot of memories coming back from walking it last summer. 
so yeah, it's been nice. I know it's going to get harder now. Legs are starting to feel a bit heavier, but uh, the walking for five minutes and the running for 5k is still happening, so that's good. 20, ooh, 24 miles in now, near a uh, marathon distance. Still going okay, and it is getting tough. The bananas are seeing me through, bananas in the tailwind. The only thing that's bugging me really is this lanyard. You have to check it in at every checkpoint. And uh, I just don't really know what to do with it. I keep faffing around with it, putting it behind me and putting it down the front and it just waggles around everywhere. So at 50k, I'm gonna come up with a solution and sort that out. Not bad little gaff. 43k, which is 27 miles in about five hours, 15. Yeah, now I've entered the pain cave. Now I just gotta accept how it feels. I just gotta grind it out. Hopefully get through the back end of it. I've not got very far to go until the 50K, which is the halfway stage in the event. I can complete change of clothing, maybe. Definitely changing the top. Definitely changing the hat. I don't really need a hat. But uh, you never know, some might come out. But yeah. It's getting tough. Well, I was just about to start running, and then I saw this footbridge. I ain't running over that. No way. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Well, I made it to 29 miles with the running 5K, walking five minutes. I've been going for five hours and 40 minutes now. And now, yeah, it is starting to hurt. I'm in the, still in that pain cave. So I'm gonna give myself a bit of a break. Just gonna chill out, sort myself out, relax, take on some cliff shot blocks and see if I can run it in. But yeah, that was good. I mean, 29 miles is the third longest that I've ever run in my life. So I've done two ultras before. One was 35 miles, one was 54, so I'm quite happy with that. It is warming up, clouds are lifting, so it could be a few hot hours coming up. Definitely changed my shirt and a couple of bits. Looking forward to maybe having a couple of minutes rest. Okay, here we are leaving halfway, the 50K stage. I took a long time going through there, about 40 minutes or so, going for a wee, getting changed, full kit out, having some food, sort myself out. And now it's on, well, where the hard work starts, the second 50K. We're 35 miles in now and I'm starting to feel sick when I run. So just trying to run for like a hundred steps every now and again. Back to the old adage when the ultras run when you can, walk if you have to. Trying to uh, let myself off for not being able to run. Ran the first 50 really well. Obviously that's where my fitness level is. And the next 50 is about just getting it done. I seem to be obsessed by counting and numbers and timing. I'm now doing 200 steps walking, 200 steps running and counting it. Seems to help keep me focused, keep my mind running, keep my mind feel like I'm progressing instead of just walking, which is great. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've found a routine. It's harder to do the little videos and stuff because I'm just literally focusing on that. Look, there's Big Mickey. Whatever Big Mickey is. Uh, I suppose he picks up boats and puts them in the Thames. Hello, Big Mickey. My hamstrings getting a bit cross with me 
every time I break into my 200 step run, they're like, oh, they start getting really tight. So they want me to walk. Um, I guess sensibly I should just pull over and give them a stretch. That's probably what they're asking me to do. Could have been better training, I guess. I was quite happy with my build up. Uh, did the mileage that I could. And obviously it's not quite long enough or far enough or intensive enough to run 62 miles. But then again, it is always run walk. So in my last video, I was talking about Courtney to Walter and her dealing with when it gets tough, and when it starts to hurt, it's a pain cave. What I've realized on this ultra marathon is I'm not Courtney DeWalter, who does that for a job, who knows that she's going to come out of her pain cave. I'm a 49-year-old guy who's only run three ultras in his life, and I'm not going to be coming out of the pain cave. <laughs> I'm not going to be coming back out the other side. So uh, still putting one foot forward, still running when I can, still walking when I have to. You know that I love a nice tree. If you subscribe to my channel, look at these lovely, lovely trees. Hope they are coming up in the low light. But uh, they look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's the 78K aid station done. The wife is there, which is a great pickup. It is, uh, <clears throat> it is, it is a very emotional thing to do, putting your body through this and your mind through this when you've been out for 12 hours and you know you've got a few hours to go. So I nearly cried in front of the wife, but I held it together. I don't think she noticed, so that's good. But uh, just saying the word emotional makes you emotional, right? Beautiful church. Um, I feel like it's a bit like, I mean, it's 22K to go, which is not a short distance at the moment. I'm quite happy walking it in we shall see I want to enjoy it I don't want to get injured I don't want to like you know it's getting really hard to walk to run I have been doing the 200 steps up up to that checkpoint there but after every single one it makes you feel quite sick let's get some chips down me in there that's the first hot food I've had all day I've been doing the tailwind and the bananas and the cliff shop blocks kept me through so that's good but yeah Final straight, sun setting on a lovely day. We're not quite there yet, but uh, yeah, twilight is coming. And the only thing I'm disappointed with, I had my Apple Watch in my bag and uh, I was gonna play music in this last section. The Apple Watch died. I charged it up in full, never mind. You probably can't see me, but I've had a bit of a second wind after those chips. I'm definitely running a little bit stronger. I can run for more than 200 steps. Finally time for the head torch to come on in Marlow. Maybe I did come out of the pain cave in the end. That's stronger running. I've stayed consistent less than 15 minutes per mile and I thought I was done but maybe I should have had more real food <laughs> just been recording some audio for god knows how long like 20 minutes probably is this a bed station? It's good to fill my bottle up if it is looks like one are you just coming Kat? Yeah, oh yeah okay. I... that's alright get your stuff done but just go and see yeah, I will do definitely. Yeah, thanks. Of course, yeah. Thanks for being here today. We really appreciate it. Oh, if you're, are you a volunteer? Yeah, no, we're not volunteers. I'll get paid. All oh, right, okay. Well, you know, thanks for putting it on. Thanks for put. Thanks for being here, mate. Oh, that's all right. I quite enjoy it. I think most people that do it actually enjoy it. It's quite an enjoyable thing to do, really. 
<laughs> and you? Did you get lost again or are you alright? Uh, no. Good, good, I've good. Really over a tree yeah. I, I'm only running on the concrete bits because it's just yeah. too dangerous at this stage, isn't it, yeah. for me? Oh, You've done great work for your charity today. They're going to be very proud of you. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Nearly fifty-seven. God, we're counting the mile downs. Let's not look at the watch now until it bleeps. Yeah, cheers. I can see that glow stick. Don't want to get lost now, do I? Oh, yeah. well, that's 16 mile mark and I'm struggling to put one foot in front of the other now. I definitely lost that little spark that I had from the chips and stuff. So I literally just want it to be over. Yeah, it is dragging, but less than Less than three miles to go. We've got this far with me, guys. I really appreciate you uh, getting to the end of the video. And just around this corner is the finish line. And look at all those lights over there. Which way do I go? Is it this way? Yeah, this is the way. Yeah, cool. Thank. Up, Thank you. Thank God for that. So that is the Thames Path Ultra, 63 miles along the Thames Path. As this, I wasn't going to run it in, but I reckon what I am. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Did I win? I did, did I win? <laughs>